Hi everybody, my name is Bradley Mitchell, and um, before we get started, I want you all to take, um, take a moment to reflect on some of the classes that you may have had here. Maybe we took a, psycholo a psychology class or a sociology class, maybe a philosophy class where you ended up getting into heated debates between you and your classmates over some of the morals or values or beliefs that you have. Maybe it came down to religion or politics. Well, I'm here to talk to you about um, one of the theories that I agree with the most, which is the divine command theory. Simply put, the divine command theory is a theory that states that all actions are considered morally good or bad, whether God has commanded them or not. And um, not to be a um, Christian or anything, but the reason I picked this theory is because, I mean, not to be a preacher or anything, but the reason I picked this theory is because I was raised in a Christian household, and we always believe that um, God is our creator, and anything he says or tells us to do is, is what goes, no if, ands, or buts about it. Now, these are my views, and um, I completely respect those that may differ. But with that being said, um, I mean, most of the things that he commands um, are usually considered morally good by the general public anyway. Things like, thou shalt not kill, thou shalt not steal, those are things that you know, are pretty, pretty common in you know, most of the world. I mean, the golden rule is treating other people how you want to be treated. Not only is that in the Bible, but I mean, that's what everyone says. And there's been a, a number of different modified versions of this theory. Um, and according to the Internet Encyclopedia of Philosophy, philosopher Robert Adams, uh, um, he has a more defined version uh, by stating, any action is ethically wrong if and only if it, it is contrary to the commands of the loving God. So according to him, an ethically wrong action would, be, would have to be directly and contrary to his commands, whereas the standard version, it wouldn't go into that deep detail. But regardless of all the different versions there are, um, they all say the same thing, they all usually drive in on the same point. But um, ultimately, they avoid this, the biggest contestor, which is Euthyphro's Dilemma. Now, the Euthyphro's Dilemma, it comes from uh, a dialogue between Euthyphro and um, Socrates, which was written by Plato. And according to standardreasons.org, the dilemma basically asks, does God command the action because it is morally good, or is the action morally good because God commands it? Um, this leads to questions like, okay, what are his commands based on, and you know, are his commands arbitrary? And if they are, what if he decide to command us to murder someone or something like that? Well, my answer to whether his commands are arbitrary or not is yes. Uh, whether we like it or not, his commands are arbitrary. And again, not to go off gospel on God, but um, as a Christian, you know, we're trained to believe that um, God has a will and everything he commands, you know, we'll follow that will. And we shouldn't have to decipher what his plans are or, you know, what's his motives behind his commands because, I mean, we believe that he's, everything he says is holy. Um, we also shouldn't have to worry about commands of like him telling us to, to go out and murder someone or, or rape or child abuse or something like that because he's never commanded that in the Bible. And if you follow the Bible, you know that he doesn't speak to anyone directly anymore. He says there are no more prophets and Jesus was the last prophet. So if he's not speaking to anyone directly anymore, if anyone ever comes up to you and tell you, oh, God told me to do this, God told me to do that, they're lying because the only way we could follow a command by him is if it was given to us by the Bible, if it was in the text. So, um, and, and another popular um, philosophy that can be compared to this theory is utilitarianism. Now, this is the belief that something is morally good whether, whether it helps the greatest number of people or not. And they're the same for the most part, usually one what's good for, the most, for most of the environment, but they have differences and, and they have exceptions to certain scenarios. So I'm gonna give you a hypothetical scenario to compare it to. Suppose we're back in the times of segregation. Say there's a sheriff, he's faced with two options. Option A, he could either frame a Negro for a rape of a white woman that everyone believes he did, but he knows the truth, he knows that he didn't do it. But if he do frame him, he sends him to jail, and this will prevent a lot of white riots and a lot of looting by white people and could cause more, um, cause more interracial um, riots and stuff like that. But this would also prevent loss of life if he prevents these riots by sending him to jail. But if he decides to tell the truth and go hunt down the actual rapist, I'm sure the white people who thought that he might have raped that he might have raped a white woman will probably start these riots and it would and it would end in serious loss of life. So there's loss of life and people getting seriously injured. Now, if he was an extreme utilitarian, he would without a doubt frame the Negro and prevent the riots and prevent everyone from dying because the white people would feel like there was a lot of justice being done. But if he followed the divine command theory, he would follow God's command by not lying and not framing the Negro. Although there would be a lot of, a lot of um, riots and a lot of people dying from, from the riots resulting in him not going to jail, 
I mean, according to the Black Command Theory, he did the right thing. Um, and there are many different types of theories out there, some similar, some different, um, none are really perfect, and everyone's entitled to their own moral opinion, but my objective was to um, explain to you all the theory that I agree with the most based on what I was raised and um, my morals and values. So thank you for letting me share this with you.